Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the GreenShot software tool for Windows. GreenShot is a lightweight screenshot tool and it comes with a lot of useful features. Let's get started. First and foremost, let's see how to download GreenShot. Navigate to your browser and go to getgreenshot.org. Here you will click on the download now and GreenShot does offer a Windows and a Mac version. However, the Mac version, they do charge $199. And personally, I have not used this on a Mac. So if you want to download for Windows, you would click the latest stable version. And it will ask you if you want to have GreenShot to start up with Windows. I would prefer to say yes so that you don't have to start it each time you turn on your Windows computer. I have GreenShot running in the background. Let me show you how to access preferences and settings. You go down into your tray icon and click the green GreenShot icon and simply um, left click with your mouse. And here we will go into preferences. The three main hotkeys to remember, or in my case, are the most useful ones, are the top three here. The capture full screen, which is control print screen. Next one is a capture window. You hold down alt print screen and the capture region print screen. I will demonstrate all of the three. Let's go over how to capture the full screen by pressing the control plus the print screen. So on my keyboard, I'll hit control print screen. And now you will be presented with this sub menu. And here we will go ahead and open it in the image editor. Let me bring it over. And now this is the screenshot that I took earlier. So left icons on the left are called elements and they are very self-explanatory. Uh, you can draw rectangles, circles, lines, arrows. And if you hover over with your mouse, it will show you a shortcut next to each element. So R, if you press the R on your keyboard, it will draw a rectangle. So let's go through each one of these real quick. I'll press the letter R and now you can see it's just a simple rectangle. Circle is a E, so you can either mouse click here and draw a cir circle or you can press the letter E. What's also interesting to note is you can hold down the shift key and this will make a perfect circle. I usually use both. If I want to have a circle, hold down the shift key and drag with your mouse. Or if you want this shape, you don't use the shift key. Uh, let's draw a line right here. And also same, same thing goes with the shift key. If you want to draw a straight line, you can hold down the shift key and you can see how it snaps to the different angles kind of like a clock you know 12 o'clock one two three kind of like that but you can have a straight line 90 degree or you can fine tune it to draw an arrow you press the letter a on your keyboard and now you can see it has a arrow you can also change the line thickness if you want i usually have it at number three but you can play around here. You can free free draw, which I usually don't recommend because it just looks sloppy. Um, if you want to circle something, just looks, I don't know, I don't prefer this one, but if you do, by all means, go ahead. You can type text box. Hello and thanks for watching. You can also add a, let's see, oops. If you do make a mistake, 
you can uh, hit the escape button and select the element and simply click the delete key and this will delete the element. And what's nice also about screenshot is you can do a control A and it will select all of them or you can individually delete them by selecting them and simply deleting them. Um, let's see, what's next? You can add a speech bubble. This is a speech bubble. Uh, what's also nice about, again, this tool is you can change the font. And let's go ahead and choose Seago. Actually, let's see what this one, this one is Verdana. I like Verdana too. It looks clean. And this one is Verdana 13. So you can kind of see it's, it's similar. Anyway, let's continue on. This one, the counter. This one comes in handy. So let's say you want, let me go ahead and actually clean this up. So I'm going to press Control A, select all the elements, and hit the Delete key. And let's go over this counter. This is very useful if you want to demo a process. So for example, you want to tell people how to download GreenShot, right? So you select the counter and start clicking. So this will be one, two, three, and so on. And this kind of gives a visual effect to the end user. And let me start pressing T. And you can add little comments here. Press here. And let's do another T. Then press this general tab. So you can see how, how this can be useful if you want to present users on what to do and guide them through the steps. Another one is highlighting. If you want to call out a specific section. And this one is a up. I can't even pronounce this up fuscate. Basically, if you want to blur out text and say you have some kind of credentials, username, passwords that you don't want people to see, you can blur it out simply by hitting the up fuscate. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, let me also talk about the up fuscate. You can also change the, the mode, pixel or blur. I prefer the blur. Let me show you how pixel looks. It just looks pixelated, but blur in my case, I think it looks nicer. Let me go ahead and delete that. And you have different effects, border, drop shadow. Let's see. So it's adding some kind of drop shadow, torn edges. I don't usually use these borders. You can, of course, crop, crop a section and hit the confirm. In this case, I'm not going to go, I'm going to cancel it, but you can crop sections and then you can flip them different ways. And then you can resize. I usually don't resize this, but you can resize the screenshot as well. So those were all the elements. And let me go ahead and close this out. And let me press the print screen. So I will go ahead and take a uh, capture a region. So you can see my, my mouse kind of changed into this sniper looking mode where it's zoomed in. So this is kind of nice where you can go down to the pixel level and you can actually also use your up and down left and right arrow and you can precisely precisely go and take a screenshot based on the pixel location and let's say I'm gonna take a screenshot of this what's also nice about is it also allows you to 
save as so this would bring up a standard save as dialog box you can save it directly using the preferred file output settings and i can show you where to set this you can do the open an image editor that we currently did you can copy it straight into your clipboard send to the printer use the different microsoft office tools paint and you can also configure jira imgur confluence and all that let me go ahead and um, i'll open it in paint and now paint is open so if you want to use paint to say draw some things out you can very well do that as well but i prefer the built-in image editor let's go ahead close paint and let me show you the capture the different settings here so language english and here's the hotkeys usually all of this stuff is by default output here's the output and you can see i am storing it under the c drive documents screenshot and also i am giving it a, a file name pattern which it's nice it prints the current month date the hour minute and also the year so it prints it in this date format so that way you know exactly when you took a screenshot destinations i left all of them blank printer is also default and yeah that's about it i think everything else i left default well I hope you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I plan on making more videos about the different tools I use and thank you for watching.